Megan vindicated insights from ex bodyguard on her life going into the royal family, the royal fold, right? So Meghan Markle's journey from a successful actress to a member of the British royal family has been fraught with challenges, not least the intense scrutiny she faced from the public and the media. Recent revelations from her ex-bodyguard Steve Davis shed light on the personal toll that this transition took on Meghan, particularly in the wake of her marriage to Prince Harry. So he's talking about the tra transition from being an actress to royalty, right? So Davis, who was introduced to Meghan in 2018 while protecting her during her time in Toronto, has expressed deep sympathy for her situation. He said it was stressful for her, all the publicity he recalled, moving from being a well-known actress in a popular television series to becoming part of the most famous family in the world was a monumental shift. According to Davis, this transition was not only challenging, but also accompanied by a level of fame and scrutiny that few can comprehend. The challenges of royal life were compounded by aggressive media attention. We had people following us all around, everywhere we went. We had problems with drones, vehicles chasing us. It was a nightmare, he noted. Such extreme attention brought about legitimate fears for her safety, echoing the tragic fate of Princess Diana. Davis characterized Meghan's post-wedding life as existing within a goldfish bowl, where privacy was a luxury she could no longer afford. And we hear Harry talks about it when they talk about the show and they talk about what was happening around the time or the media would search them. Even when we know Tyler Perry had put them up, the media eventually got wind of it and they had to move. So it's almost as if they were just scared. They were, they, their privacy was shot to naught. You know, everything was just not going right. Yes, Fame, we know she was going into this family, but the level that it went to was just beyond belief, right? And it, as you can see, the breakdown of everything started. You know, we know about the Australia tour when they went and smashed it. It was such a good tour and the jealousy started from there. You know, everything just started culminating into this very toxic relationship where William and Kate offices were leaking information about Harry and Meghan. We know about Jason Knopf. We, we, there, there's so many things that was going on behind Meghan's back. People are talking about her, discussing her in a way that was just despicable. Obviously, because they don't want a black woman to give orders or just set her own boundaries. They wanted to act as if she was nothing and disrespected her. And I was reading where Steve said one of Megan's motto is that you give respect, you get respect. So obviously, they were disrespecting her and wanted her to act like this little docile person, you know, when they were clearly disrespecting behind her back bullying her you know so a lot of things were going on so in recent years claims have circulated regarding Megan's behavior towards staff and her alleged difficulty in the workplace reports of from sources close to the couple I have painted a picture of Megan as someone who instills fear in, the, in her staff, suggesting she's relentless and difficult to work with. However, Davis offered a contrasting perspective, describing Megan as warm and considerate. He stated, there's one huge, huge lesson I learned from her. Give you give respect, you get respect, right? So he's refuting this. And we, we read about the staff coming out and said, that's not Megan. 
How is it that Megan have been on suit for seven seasons or however long she was and no one was complaining how she's a bully? No, it's a palace. It's an orchestrated smear campaign against a woman. That's what they did, right? And they know that what they did was so evil to the core, right? Megan is a nice person. I can tell Megan is a nice person. You can see it. You can see how she interact with people. You can see even the little children, how they warm to her. I know the children warm to Kate and William the way they warm to Harry and Megan. So that tells me because children have a nice, a good sense of people. You see how Megan, people say Megan will give them things. Megan will do things. When Megan used to get the gifts, when she used to go on the walkabout, she used to take it and give it to the staff. She's a nice person. Nobody needs to tell me about her personality. You can tell her she's a very nice person. This sentiment sharply contrasts with narratives that have depicted Megan as a difficult person. Allegations of her belittling staff members and being a tyrant have emerged from various quarters, especially following her and Harry's move to California. And remember when they came out with, oh, Megan was a bully, it was just because they were trying to um, the Oprah interview and they didn't want her to go out first. And Valentine Lowe admit to it that, yes, he wanted to preempt. So this was an orchestrated smear campaign, guys. We need to pick sense of the out of nonsense. It was just because they were moving as well, where a significant number of their staff reportedly left under strange circumstances. So what? They won't be the only organization that have um, employees leaving. People leave for different reasons. People leave for betterment. People leave for greener pastures. People leave because they don't like the situation. People leave because there's a greener opportunity open up for them. People leave because they're fired. So many reasons why people leave, right? So let's not go there. The duality of Megan's public image has become a point of contention. While many of her supporters maintain that she is kind and considerate, the narrative of her being difficult persists. Yes, that's just because the, the royal family and they have the media that's pushing this narrative. The media is a problem in all of this because the media is the one that's trying to up hold this monarchy and they feel that it's an affront that Meghan and Harry left. So the media is the one who's upholding the, the nastiness towards Meghan. That is why it's persisting because the media, look at what the Hollywood reporter did, that liar man, Russian, coming out and talk about he has people there that working for Meghan now who says this. He's talking Fabric it's a fabricated thing where he came out and said the same talking points as what the palace had. So the media is working in cards with the palace to defame Megan, and that is clear. Supporters of the Sussexes have pushed back against these claims, suggesting that many of the allegations stem from outdated perception and intentional mischaracterization. They argued that being assertive and setting boundaries should not be conflated with being difficult, something Megan has touched on in her Archetype podcast. In her podcast, Megan emphasized the importance of boundaries, stating, You're allowed to set boundaries. You're allowed to be clear. It does not make you demanding. It does not make you difficult. It makes you clear. This highlights her awareness of the challenges women face in leadership roles, especially in high-stakes um, environments like the royal family. I mean, isn't this clear? The man is saying she made grown men cry. Who writes like that? This is so fabricated. It's such a smear campaign. She makes grown men cry. Who did she make cry? William? Did she make Jason Conniff cry? Who, who did she make cry? Who writes like that? This is so unnecessary, so evil. And talking about the woman like that, but I'm telling you, she's been vindicated over and over again because a lot of the things that Megan say are true. You hear from time to time, they come out, they don't even realize that they, they, they're confirming what Megan has said that happened to her. 
This lie, Megan made Kate cry. It was a lie. It needs to be addressed. It was a lie. It was the reverse. Kate was the one who was bullying Megan, acting as if it was her wedding when it was in fact Megan's wedding. Kate is the one that was uppity and trying to act as if she was the cat's meow and she's supposed to be the one in charge and making Megan feel less than. But nobody's picking on Kate because what? What? I don't even know. Megan is an assertive, bold, intelligent woman and she knows what she wants and she's not going to put up with slackness. And that is what they don't. She don't like mediocrity. Megan is a hardworking woman. You can tell. The narrative surrounding Megan has evolved over the years. From the excitement of royal engagement to the intense scrutiny that followed. Past allegations of bullying brought about by former um, communication secretary Jason Kanaf continue to linger. Yes, because of the media, obviously. And we're talking about all the media. They are just picking sides. They are not. They are not reporting. Um, as though you must report objectively. They don't report like that. They are. They are telling you their opinion, and they are forcing their opinions on people, right? So of course it's going to linger, creating a complicated backdrop of her public persona. Megan has strongly denied these claims, labeling them as part of a calculated smear campaign, which they are. As Megan and Harry carve out their new lives in California, the complexities of their experiences within the royal family continue to attract attention. While some sources insist that Megan remains a challenging figure, others including Davis, advocate for a more nuanced understanding of her character and the pressures she faces. As public perception continues to shift, Megan experiences reveal the multifaceted nature of fame and the unique challenges that come with being part of the royal family. While she navigates her new role as a mother, philanthropist, and advocate, the ongoing discussions surrounding um, her when she was within the royal family persists. Okay, ultimately, Meghan's journey underscores the need for empathy and understanding in a world quick to judge based on incomplete narratives. Yes, guys, so this is what we're talking about. These rumors continue to persist you know why because every day you have the royalists the royal water come on tv they lie they continue to push an agenda megan and harry are carving out their new life people don't like it but guess what they do have an army of supporters they do have people that know who megan was before she entered the royal family know what her capabilities are what she was like and at no point these um characterization or assassination or character assassination that they're trying to put on her is going to is going to last because guess what people are going to counter that narrative people are saying enough of what you're doing you're painting this woman in a very bad light you don't care what happens to her you're bullying her you guys come on tv every day and talk about bully you are literally bullying this woman right because you want her to be quiet you don't want her to have a voice. Well, that will not happen. Not in 2024 with social media the way it is. Megan has a voice and she will continue to have a voice. So you guys need to understand that and get with the program, right? And leave her alone. She's living her life. She has moved on. She has forgotten about you. And it does not mean she's not going to still lament on what her life was like within the royal family. It's her story to tell. Why should you come out here and tell her story every day but she must be quiet on her own, own life?
it's her life, right? So I'm glad you have people like Steve coming out and talking. I'm glad you have her staff and ex-staff coming out and telling us the wonderful story. We have Mike from Suits saying that Megan sent him a note when he was starting up his podcast, wishing him well and wishing them well and saying if there's anything they need, they can call on her. So Megan is a good person. And we're not going to sit by and let you guys taint her reputation and try to malign her and try to that just because you're bitter that she moved on and she came into the royal family and said, this was not for me. She had her choice and she made it. And she's happy with her choice. You can see the beauty on Megan. She's a happy woman. So leave her alone. So guys, that's what I wanted to bring you. There are people coming out and talking. People are seeing the nonsense for what it really is. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. Bye.